now now when we grow up, do you think we're gonna have like fucking who can be the best iPad swiper? Who who can I, spend I, the I, most I, time I, on the iPad? I speak to Felix about this. Felix doesn't let his uh, kid use an iPad. I think uh, generally. Yeah, and I I agree. I yeah. don't want to give a kid an iPad. No, I not not at that wanna... age. Because, well, because I, hear, I hear like I've got some friends who have kids and, and they um they like regret it because they're like it's impossible for the kid to exist without this. Yeah, yeah. He like will be miserable without it. Yeah, yeah. So I think, and, and I agree with that. I, I agree. I think there's a fine line because I feel like as millennials we have a like I, I think the advantage we have as millennials is that we know the world before the internet and technology really mm. took over and being really connected and online all the time. Mm. And we know the effects afterwards as well. So mm. I feel like we have a good balance of understanding what parts, what aspects of being online can help a kid and you know can be benefits mm. and what aspects are actually fucking dangerous. And we've been through that and we have to be really yeah. conscious about that. Mm. Cause it's not just even teaching a kid about that. Sometimes you have to teach your parents about that. Yeah. Cause sometimes mm. I have to teach my parents about the the dangers of being addicted online all the time, then they are a grown ass adult. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you know? I, I think the reason why it kind of, I kind of turned out okay for me is that I mainly used it more as a social thing as opposed to, yeah. mm. like I, would, I mean, obviously I really wanted to play the game, but I used it as so much of a social a avenue. All right. But I think that, you know, there's also this net, like you could argue, well, what's the difference between an iPad and a Game Boy? I think there was some kind of like self limiting factor of a Game Boy where it was like, all right, once you've kind of run out of games, your parents weren't buying you anymore. You either had to replay the games, which got boring, or you were like, oh, I'm gonna have to do something Well, else. that's the thing. The iPad is not just the game. Yeah, it's, it's YouTube. Kind of everything, it's yeah. everything yeah. that you, anything and everything you can do. Whereas the Game Boy is just there to play one game. And yeah. if you don't have any other physical games, you can't do anything else, right? So it's, yeah, yeah it's very well, different. There's also some shared experience that you could share with your other classmates if you'd all play yeah. the same game. Totally. Yeah. That you could socialize about mm. it. And I don't know if there is, I'm sure there is something nowadays, but I don't know, it's a weird one. So I, 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 I we have to wait like 10 years to see the ramifications. Yeah. So I'm kind of excited. Yep. I'm like, oh, goody. Can't wait, can't wait to see how- Can't wait to see how fucked up they are. Can't wait to see if it, if it actually is just, we're overblowing it. Yeah. You know, or if, if there's some legit issues. There's some legit. Yeah, because yeah. But I, I have to, I, I will side on the, the, the side of, we're probably overblowing it a little bit. We're, yeah, I'm sure there are some actual social ramifications that are going to come up, but I don't think it's as bad as people are saying it's going to be. It's, it's, it's a give and take, right? Mm. Because- I personally can feel my brain chemistry changing from having an iPad mm. and TikTok and shit like that. I can, the only thing, the only reason I can is because I've experienced what it was like before and I can, I can experience what my attention span is like after the advent of scrolling through YouTube shorts for a million different, for like two hours or something. Yeah. Um, and you know, there's this argument about, you know, every generation has this thing, it's fucking radio, then it's television, mm. then it's games or whatever. But I feel like, you know, as we've grown older, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna say that I'm gonna completely <clears throat> get my kids off of this one thing, but I think having like, for one, being a fucking parent, <laughs> yeah, for one thing, and uh, and just being aware of how much time they're spending and just having a little bit of control over your kids about how much contact time they have yeah. with this iPad yeah. is a healthy thing as much as we had when we were gaming or when we got mm. into anime. I couldn't game every single day. I couldn't be logged in and watch anime every single moment of my life. Yeah. And I think that that helps me appreciate the things outside of the world. Yeah, it's, 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 I think it's the balance Rude. is the most important thing. Yeah, yeah for sure. All right, moving <laughs> on. I like this. Who's most likely to become a vegan? We all love meat. I think honestly, like all of us could probably do it. I can do it. I can do it. I can what? do it. All right, really? Connor it is then. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think, I think it would be a Dude. fucking hard readjusting period. I tried to be, I, I went pescatarian for a month no. and I was dying on the inside. It's just the, the only thing that actually annoys me and the only thing like I, if you, okay, if I was in like a fucking lab, you just handed me vegan food every day. Mm. I don't. I think I'd be okay with it, but I think the problem arises, and this is where I, I would struggle the most, is yeah. having to always constantly check. Right. Hey, right. is this vegan? Hey, can you change this? Yeah. Hey, can you yeah. remove it? That's what would drive me insane. Because yeah. I love the idea, I love the fact that now I can just order something, I don't give a fuck what it is, I'm gonna eat it. Yeah. But then I feel like I get like tired watching sometimes my friends have to be like, hey, can you change this? Can mm. you ask? And I'm like, that's the part for me that yeah. sucks. And yes, there are places that are vegan oriented, but in Japan, it's it's a bit of a slog and it's not there yet. 
Yeah. Mm. LA, bro, you could do it easy. You could do fucking get this done. Oh, uh, if you're rich. Versus that, yeah, I, yeah, so <laughs> yeah. You also have to have money. That's yeah. also the big thing about yeah. vegan. Vegan is absolutely a, an upper class thing. Yeah. Like you, but like we, we well, what was that? Generally, generally. Generally, I If think. you just cook for yourself, right? <laughs> oh, but even <laughs> gross, but, but even groceries can get expensive. Even then, groceries can be expensive. Yeah. Groceries can be expensive. Oh, true, and also true. there are like, Certain certain vegan food uh, restaurants are like can do these crazy cooking techniques with uh, with these chefs that you you couldn't do at your home. <laughs> yeah, that make these amazing dishes that you would never get to you know mm -hmm. try. I mean, what is it the the best rated restaurant in the world that we used to be in New York changed to a vegan? Oh, really? Uh, yeah, and um, they've had a great success with that. Huh. Um, and you know, obviously, the stuff that they're doing with food is very different from me. If I went home and I was like potatoes, <laughs> broccoli. You know what I mean? It's gonna it's gonna be a very different yeah. experience of being vegan, yeah. and there is that aspect to it. But uh, I don't think I could do it. I don't but think I, I could think do it. I, if, you, no if, if I had a vegan chef doing it for me, fuck yeah, <laughs> dude. Well, we went to LA, right? We, we yeah, if you have your own private vegan chef, yeah. I can do it. Yeah, <laughs> that's, cool. that's not you yeah. doing it. <laughs> yeah, easily, easily. Well, like I think that's to illustrate the fact that I don't feel like I need meat. It's more so like meat is just convenient. It's just everywhere. It tastes fucking good. I think I need meat. I need meat. I, what, 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 you not even bodybuilder guy? What are you not, doing? Not <laughs> even red meat. I just want chicken. I could I could probably, like the, the yeah, only like thing, that. when I was pescatarian for a month, mm -hmm. the only thing I missed was chicken. Did I didn't really miss beef or pork or anything like that as much as just white oh, meat. I mean, yeah, I like chicken a lot. Because I love fish, right? So that, that was covered. I could eat yeah. that and that was great. But just, man, chicken, you can't, there's nothing that can replace chicken in my opinion. We'll get there. We'll get I th there. I think we've done a pretty yeah. good job I'm of sure. emulating beef. The steak aspect hasn't been done very well, but yeah. like ground yeah. beef is pretty damn close. Yeah, yeah. Sure. I, when Burger King in Japan had the the Impossible Burger or whatever yeah. it was, I thought that should taste better than the normal burgers. Well, what was it? What was it made? It was like beans. It was right? plant based. Yeah, it's soy, plant based. Soy and a bunch of it other has stuff. a lot of other things that like coconut oil to. Yeah. It's pretty bad for you. It's like generally like the the carb content was pretty high right. and the fattiness yeah. was pretty high, but I thought it still tastes better than yeah. meat. Fair enough. Um, but I mean, it's getting better. I mean, obviously somewhere like LA, it's a different ballpark being able yeah. to do this. Like you can go to this, there's like vegan cheese stores that are specialized mm. in vegan cheese. It tastes pretty good and vegan bacon and stuff like that. But in Japan, fuck no. Yeah, except it's, it's also <laughs> like, would you like to pay $70? Yeah, for exactly. Yeah. Cheese, it's you know? also, it again, yeah. being vegan is yeah. in certain places very expensive. Yeah. Um, I mean, obviously the more popular being vegan becomes, the easier it'll get and the cheaper it'll get. But, yeah. Um, yeah, I, there was that one place in LA where that guy ordered, um, on our tour, he ordered like vegan beef jerky. Wait, it was what? the best tasting. Maybe it was the, on our tour. Yeah. We were in LA and one of the guys ordered vegan beef jerky. And it was like the best fucking thing I'd ever tasted in my life. Because it wasn't beef jerky. Yeah, it was something else. <laughs> yeah. it, was, it was the most tasty thing I'd ever had in my life. I'll, 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 I'll get you that dish next, next time. Uh, it was a Thai dish actually. <laughs> what? Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, it was a Thai dish. Um, normally we, it's, I don't know why they called it beef jerky, but uh, it's- It's like dried meat? Yeah, it's like dried meat. Yeah. Normally in Thailand we do it with pork. Um, and they did it with some kind of like plant-based material. I, it was I, insane, it tasted yeah. fucking godlike. <laughs> I and I realized that. after like looking at the food and being like, oh, this is like vegan beef jerky. I looked at the restaurant. It was, I, th I think it's like a Asian kind of like cuisine restaurant as well. Cause oh. I, I was swear, I swear I had some of these dishes before and then realized, oh, some of these dishes are just Thai. Well, because I went to, when we did the Anthony Padilla show, you, I mean, obviously we did it separate times, mm. but he, I went there and he had the exact same thing. Right. And I was like, dude, can I have it? Can I have one? Right. And he was like, yeah, of course. I had it and I was like, oh. <laughs> godlike, godlike, godlike. It is godlike. All right, we're gonna do one more. This final one is from Patreon, from Brock Otterbacher. I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly. Yeah. And it is, and, and brace yourselves, boys. Who is most likely to let their girlfriend slash wife peg them? <laughs> wow. What, what? <laughs> Joey, what was, that? what was that side eye? <laughs> oh, nothing. <laughs> Just, just laughing at the question, you know? No, there's no deeper meaning. All right. All right, ready? All right, three, three, two, one. one. I think both of you. Connor. <laughs> I said gone. <laughs> I thought gone and Jerry. Wait, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Jerry mentions his ass a lot. I feel like a lot of ass play going on perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like, okay. The reason- What the heck, God? The reason I put Connor, I feel yeah. like, I feel like Connor's hiding something. You what? know, you know, I, f I feel like Connor, 
wants everyone. He has this public image to be I like, no. I only like milfs, and milfs is the only thing I consume, and that is all I want. But I feel like secretly behind closed doors, he just he, there's a bit of curiosity there. I mean, there's you know? curiosity, but there's no pegging curiosity. Oh, you never know. I do think Garn could get pegged. Oh, dude, Garn, one hundred percent. I know what kind of girls he likes. <laughs> What is a uh, genuine question? What is pegging? <laughs> Wait, you don't know what pegging I is? I don't know what pegging okay. is. I, I will describe it in the easiest way possible. Pegging okay. is when the girl puts on a strap on mm. and fucks, fucks you. you in the ass. <sighs> no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's, here's the thing. No, I feel, like, I feel like it'd be like, honey, I, I want to try pegging. Gun's like, yes, honey. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so let's just try it out and see if we, see if we can get yes, into it. Yes, honey. Yes, honey. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like okay. Obviously, obviously, me being with Cindy would be like the obvious answer. Uh, but I don't okay, know. I feel like I, I, I feel like I got that publicly. <laughs> yeah, publicly, we we get we get most of our degenerate shit out in public. You know, we, we actually That's have a true. nice we actually have a nice wholesome relationship behind closed doors. I feel. <laughs> um, I, I don't know. There are so many things. There are so many like fetishes that mm. I feel like the idea is better than actually me wanting to do it. You know, like there's, there's no, no, no. Yeah, like, like there's sometimes I see a dojin where I'm like, oh, that's, that's pretty hot. But then if I imagine the thing in real life, I'm like, absolutely I don't not. think I've ever right. seen Peggy and thought, yeah, this, this seems sound like a fun time. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I that. know people who have been pegged. You do? Yeah. You, wait, what? I, I, I know. What's I know. their, what's their, want to get paid um they were just curious like they were they're, they're both a couple that are you know very like open to trying out different things you know they're just sexually curious as mm -hmm. you know as any yeah. couple is yeah um and one night they were just like the the girlfriend just asked like can we try this out and the guy was like i mean sure i'm probably gonna hate it but hey you know what we've tried all sorts probably, of other sounds like healthy sounds like um, a relationship. and uh and he said it was awesome <laughs> he actually really liked it. Yo. He, and he was like, yeah, I was really surprised. I didn't think but I would like it. This is what scares but, me is that yeah. like, what like what if I, because the things that I'm pretty sure I'm not into, and if I tried them, I, I might think like, hold on now. And then, then, then I can't jack off unless someone's like pegging me and there's a- Unless I'm uh, fingering my own ass. There's, there's a finger in my butthole. There's a there's an 80 year old woman in the corner and the, and the moon's in, and Mercury's in retrograde. The jackhammer you know 3000 I mean? going yeah, on like, in the like, background. I don't want to add complexity to my jacking off. Or like, I don't want to add complexity to like busting a nut when I'm just trying to keep it like the same way it's been for a thousand years. Listen, at least for me, I know look, you put me down as well as Gaunt. What the? <laughs> but you you put me you put me down as, as well as gone. But mm -hmm. I I can tell you why it wouldn't be me. Okay, why? tell me why. I mean, I told you all the sharding stories. <laughs> <laughs> well, that just, would make you more likely, yeah, right? Just, it, no, it just wouldn't go well. He's used to having to clean up there. You know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nah, nah, I it just right. again same as what Gan said. Some things just sound like. Like, oh, you know, it might be interesting concept, but then when you actually think about it in practice, it's just like, no, nah, that just sounds like a man. I feel okay. like Connor's the most likely to like accidentally have something like that happen than, be, than <laughs> realize, true. oh shit, I actually really like it. Oh, I feel like that. How do you accidentally get pegged? <laughs> I don't know. He goes, okay, he goes into, okay. It's his, not something that okay, happens look, like, whoops. Look, here's, here's the origin story, all right? I would never accidentally get pegged, God. I would- I, <laughs> no, 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 no. The he, moment someone's got me on all fours, I think I would question it. It's oh, like, wait, 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 what's wait. happening? All right, here's, yeah, here's, here's the Connor origin story, <laughs> okay, right? He's tell me the Connor origin. He, he's like, Connor is against this, like throughout a relationship. Sure. But uh, he has like a health checkup once, right? Okay. And, <laughs> and, and the doctor recommends that he has to check up there. Sure. Right? Yeah. As a medical procedure. And Connor's right. like, and Connor's like, fine, I gotta fucking do it. He's like, he's like standing on all fours. Dude, I'm dreading it. And uh, he's dreading it. And he's like, the doctor sticks his finger up and he's like, <laughs> Wait, why wasn't this as uncomfortable as I thought it was going <laughs> to be? Did you put a finger up there? They call I, don't, I thought they put like a like a camera. Uh, sometimes it's a camera, sometimes it's the finger. Well, yeah. well, no, well, to get, well, to get the camera in, they got to open it up. Yeah. yeah, I'm dreading it. I feel like I'm going to faint. when Because in Japan, they're, after a certain age, they're compulsory. I don't know what, what age is it? Were they? 40 something? 40. Fuck, I'm yeah. dreading it. Because I, I feel like I'm going to faint the first moment I get it. Well, you we should probably yeah. start getting used to it. Yeah. With a little bit of pegging. I'm that, I'm that's I'm that's <laughs> good on a little bit. That's like the doctor going, I'm fucking, I'm my fish. Next. 
I'm just just gonna go like, see I'm just gonna like <laughs> sow the seed until like five, seven years later, Connor's in like a stable relationship. Oh, no. And Connor's like, he's not a YouTuber anymore. He has nothing to prove on the camera. And then he's just like, I can't get off unless ah. I have a camera up my ass. Ah, one day, one day. And that's it. That's the origin story. 50. Age 50, yeah. It says recommended everyone should have it at age 50. Hmm. Yeah, or around, yeah, around 40, I guess. Yeah. But that is <laughs> what a this way to end episode it all. <laughs> of Trash Taste. 